I could see if he was like the scared, timid, like Richard Pryor in the 80s, you know, oh, no, don't hurt me. No, he was a badass. He was a badass. He was fucking shit up and he talked a lot of shit, but he was jive. He was, he was, he was Jim Kelly and Black Dynamite. Alright y'all, today we're going to be talking Batman Soul of the Dragon, the newest, latest DC animated joint, and um, no spoilers by the way, I just got done watching, I'm going to give you a quick spoiler free review. I think this is really going to divide fans of Batman, not like The Last Jedi or Wonder Woman 84, but I think there's going to be some division here about what people say about it. I wouldn't be surprised if people shit on this movie, but then again I wouldn't be surprised if people say they love this movie. I fall in the category of I really dug this animated joint. I wasn't 100% in love with it. In the beginning, I was. In the beginning of this movie, it gave me everything I wanted. You had kung fu, black exploitation, superhero type shit. And I'm talking about the 70s, like the late 70s kung fu joints, you know, where the motherfuckers were speaking out of, you know, now I must kill you. You destroyed my master. Now you must die. Like that shit, like the old Jackie Chan joints, like the Shaolin versus the Llama joints, you know, the, the Deadly Venoms. It takes it back to that shit, and especially into the dragon, Bruce Lee. So, um, I'm not really familiar with a lot of these DC characters, but I kind of looked them up. These characters do exist, like the Bronze Tiger and, um, and Richard Dragon, but I saw Bruce Lee. When I saw Richard Dragon, I saw Bruce Lee. When I saw Bronze Tiger, I saw Jim Kelly, Black Bell Jones, and Black Dynamite, and, um... And just so happens, he was voiced by Michael J. White, uh, Bronze Tiger, Black Dynamite himself. So I'm watching this, I was like, I'm imagining a team-up of Batman, Bruce Lee, and Black Dynamite. That'd be the illest shit. So real quick, this is a buddy team-up movie with Batman and his fellow Shaolin Temple mates. And they have to take down this organization that's the prerequisite of Cobra and Serpentor, if you remember that shit. <laughs> if you don't, I feel old as hell. That's really all I can say without spoiling it. Uh, there's very little Batman in this movie, and I think that's why fans are going to be divided, because there's very little Batman in here. You see him maybe once or twice, you know what I'm saying? But when he shows up, he does do a lot of cool shit, but this is Bruce Wayne's movie. I actually, take it back, this is Richard Dragon's movie, the Bruce Lee copycat. Okay, this is his movie. It's, it's his shit. This should have been called Soul of the Dragon featuring Batman. But because Batman is the bigger name, this is going to put asses in the seat. This is what sells, so you have to put Batman in there. But this is Richard Dragon's movie. Bruce Wayne is a supporting character, and Batman has a very small role. He, he has that role almost like Vader in Rogue One. Maybe a little bit more screen time than that, but I, I think you get the gist of what I'm talking about. This is not really a Batman film, so I feel like Batman... Uh, enthusiast, Batman purist is going to be like, man, it was trash, it wasn't Batman, everybody had their chance to shine, you know, Batman was put in the back burner, I can see people saying that because in a lot of ways he did, but that did not take away from the fact that I really enjoyed this, I enjoyed the 70s feel, I enjoyed the, the kung fu vibes, the deadly venoms, you know, the into the 36 chambers, like I appreciated all that shit, you know, the black exploitation joints. This gave me a mixture of every genre that I absolutely love, and this film was a blast. I, I loved, I mean, well, I did say I didn't love it, but I loved a lot of elements of it. But when the movie went off, the way it ended, I was like, hmm, there was much left to be desired. You know what I mean? I was like, damn, that's, that's, that's all they're going to give us? So I guess this is a mild spoiler. It does set up for a sequel. But I'm like, come on, man, you, you can't end it like that, man. Because with these DC animated joints, a sequel probably going to come like in another year or so. I want that shit like now. Come on, man. Don't, don't do that to me. Like, like this movie gave me blue balls by the end of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, there were elements of this movie that I did really love. But there was times that it, it did kind of slow down a little bit. It, it did kind of drag. The pacing really stopped. But, um, but the action was on point. Like when, when, when this shit was on, it was on. And the Michael J. White character, I can see some people get offended like, man, why do they have to have the stereotypical black guy in there doing the stereotypical black shit? But that's how it was in the 70s. You know, that, you know, that character, the Bronze Tiger character, that's, he was a product of his, you know, that, that's a product of the time, of the 70s. That's what it was. So I don't think there was trying to be 
uh, malicious and making him a stereotypical black character, but that, that's just what it was. You know, the jive talking, angry black man who can kick a lot of ass. I could see if he was like a scared, timid, like Richard Pryor in the 80s, you know, oh, no, don't hurt me. No, he was a badass. He was a badass. He was fucking shit up and he talked a lot of shit, but he was jive. He was, he was, he was Jim Kelly and Black Dynamite. And watching this, I miss Black Dynamite. I miss Bruce Lee. And now I want to see more animated joints with Bruce Lee because the only thing I was missing was the high-pitched scream. You know, the wah! That's the only thing I was missing from the character, man. Oh, but that was Bruce Lee. That was Black Dynamite. So, Batman... <laughs> Batman was like an afterthought. Bat I didn't even think about Batman, to be honest with you, watching this. I, I cared more about the, 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 the side characters that were supposed to be side characters, but they were actually the main characters. Batman was just there. Bruce Wayne was just there. But overall, y'all, wrapping this up, I'm going to give Batman Soul of the Dragon. I'm going to give it a B-. minus. I really did enjoy a lot of it, but I feel like, uh, you know, no, B-, minus. That, that, that's kind of a, that's a low grade. No, I'm, I'm going off the top of the dome here. No, I'm gonna give Batman Soul of the Dragon. I'm gonna give it a solid B. You know, it, it's it, it follows the tradition of the B movies. You know, uh, B black exploitation, B kung fu theater. You know, with some GI Joe in there. Well, like I said, the prerequisite of Cobra and Serpentor. Okay, so it was it was a good time. I really enjoyed it, and I will be watching it again. So y'all, B is what I got for Batman Soul of the Dragon. Have you seen it? Uh, comment field below what you thought about it and if you like and did the content hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner this is Rashad G signing out see you in the next video